All right, and we are live. Hello, hello, good people. How you all doing this morning? Uh, I have a question for you all. Would you rather interact with all your friends and family through a computer screen on a digital 2D grid, or would you rather go into some sort of virtual space where you can interact with them, play fun games and stuff like that? Well, in this episode of the Daily Digital Design Podcast, uh, that's what we're gonna be talking about. We're gonna be talking about what exactly can we do with the metaverse? How exactly will it work? Um, and what are the possibilities of it? So with that being said, let's jump right into it. So this is the second episode of the Daily Digital Design Podcast. First episode was just kind of explaining what exactly is the metaverse. Uh, this episode will just be talking about how will we use the metaverse? What exactly will we be able to do with it? Um, when the pandemic happened, the main question was how will everything be normal? How will we still be able to connect with each other? How will we be able to interact with each other? But in my opinion, that never actually came back. Uh, what we've been doing since then is joining in on Zoom calls and and Google Meets and stuff like that so that we can actually have some sense of normalcy in our lives, connecting with our families, connecting with our friends. Uh, but I feel like the metaverse will actually take that to a whole new level. So if you think about the computer, right? We have the internet. And the internet is pretty much just a network of connectivity. Well, the metaverse will be kind of the same thing, You'll still be able to connect with everybody, uh, through a network, but it'll be through a virtual reality set. It will no longer just be Zoom calls on a 2D grid. You can actually have birthday parties inside the metaverse where everyone will be able to see their digital avatars and uh, everyone will be able to interact with each other, shake hands, take selfies together, all that stuff inside the metaverse. So with the rise of the metaverse, I feel like it's really bringing the internet to life. It's actually expanding the internet outside of that 2D realm and bringing it into the 3D world and making it a virtual environment that you can actually enter into. Um, not you physically in reality, but you can put on a headset and you can enter into the metaverse using your avatar. And then whatever you get inside the, av inside the metaverse with your avatar, uh, some of those things you'll be able to take out. For example, you can go shopping inside of the metaverse. If you go in there, and you purchase something online, just like you do now, you go to Amazon or any other e-commerce website, you can purchase something and then receive it a few days later. If it's Amazon, it's probably next day. Um, in the metaverse, you'll be able to do just that. You'll be able to go to these virtual shops, these virtual stores, and actually purchase something, and you can get the digital version of it where you can just keep it inside the metaverse. Um, if it's a piece of clothing, your avatar can wear it, or you can actually take that uh, clothing and bring it outside of the metaverse and have it shipped to you as being you know, an actual real item that you can wear in real life. Uh, another aspect of it is that, if you haven't heard yet, augmented reality. Augmented reality, uh, well, I'll do another episode on this, but just in short, uh, is where the virtual world kind of overlays your physical world, this reality that we live in. So you can have on some AR glasses, and with those AR glasses, you can see yourself in being something else, or you can see someone else uh, wearing a different outfit or different clothing that they are actually wearing. So everyone could be walking around in the real world with you know the same exact clothes. When you put on you know the AR glasses, you can actually see them in a different light. And that's just one way that we will be able to enter into the metaverse. So there's a couple of different ways. The main ways will be VR headsets. So Facebook has their Oculus um, headset. Uh, I believe PlayStation, they has their VR headsets. Um, let's see, Microsoft has their, I think it's called HoloLens. There are a bunch of different ones that's coming out. I think right now the Oculus for Facebook may be the cheapest one uh, at around like 200, maybe $300, depending on which size that you get. Uh, another way is that we are going to be using AR glasses. I'll be doing a whole episode on AR glasses, um, but basically, AR stands for augmented reality. And with that, we'll be able to, again, like I said, view things 
that are digital in our physical world. So take, for example, you're using your smartphone, you use GPS. Well, you have to look down at your phone every time you wanna see which direction to turn, uh, which way to go, stuff like that. But with these AR glasses, you'll be able to see all of that right there in front of your face. Uh, Google started to come out with their own version of AR glasses. Jeez, I think it was like four, maybe five years ago, something like that, but it kind of flopped. There was no need for it. There was no use case for it, but now, yeah. <laughs> now it's going to be a game changer. A lot of companies are now coming out with these AR glasses and it's gonna be a, a real sight to see. Um, that's probably the biggest part of the metaverse that I'm excited for uh, is, the meta, is the AR version of it where we can actually live in this physical world and still be connected digitally. Uh, another way is, as I mentioned before, there are smartphones that have a whole bunch of apps on it that you are able to actually uh, interact in a digital way. So you can actually use your smartphone. I think Ikea may have this app already, but um, you're able to use your smartphone to show a piece of furniture that you're looking to buy inside your home. You can be the same exact size and everything that you want it to be. And so you can visually get a, a feel for what the um, the furniture will look like with your other furniture, how it will work out with your interior design and all that stuff. So you no longer have to go take a picture of your house or your inside room and then go to Ikea and then try to match it with the furniture and then take measurements and take size and all that stuff. You can literally use your cell phone, your smartphone, whether it's an iPhone or Android and just take a um, version of that furniture and put it right up in the room and that you'll be able to see it like it's in real time. Uh, that is one of the biggest benefits of the metaverse right now is that you can actually make life more efficient for you. So it's not just about gaming as you can see. Uh, gaming is actually a real, real, real big aspect of it. Last podcast yesterday was all about uh, what is the metaverse and I talked about, hey, what is Fortnite? How does it play a part in it? Uh, Minecraft. Uh, Roblox stuff like that um, and with the metaverse once you enter into those games you can have your digital avatar actually um, basically be cross-platform so you'll have one avatar um, that'll be able to be used inside Roblox and that same exact avatar can jump out and go into another game such as um, uh, I forget which one I just said For Fortnite or Roblox and so after you jump into those games and stuff like that, you can purchase what they call assets. Uh, you can have a whole bunch of rewards. You can have, you know, uh, depending on what game it is, you can have different coins. Uh, you can earn cryptocurrency. There's a thing now called play to earn, um, in which you can actually play a game and earn real money. People are already making real money, you know, posting TikTok videos, um, real money off of YouTube. So why not? If you enjoy video games, why not be able to make money off of video games as well? Uh, another thing is social media. Um, the, right now we're using social media as a way to connect with everyone. Uh, but once you get into the metaverse, you'll really be connected to everyone. So it's no longer just you being able to see a post and then you have to scroll to see a next post and scroll to see a next post. You'll actually enter into an actual space where you can visually see everyone that's there, all the posts, all at once. Um, just to say, for example, if you went to a conference or something like that, uh, once you go into a conference, you can see everybody that's there. You can overhear conversations. You get a feel of the vibe, all that good stuff. Be the same way inside the metaverse. It'll be more realistic than what we have now when we jump on these Zoom calls and you can you know, probably only see one person if they're screen sharing or you can see just a grid of multiple different people and stuff like that. The metaverse will actually take that and expand it out, you know, in a different direction. It's no longer on the X, Y plane. We're actually adding that Z death into it to where you can now enter into it. Another part is concerts and taking trips. So right now, I think um, Travis Scott, Ariana Grande, Justin Bieber, all of these big names have already been hosting digital concerts virtual concerts inside of the metaverse where you can see their digital avatar. Their digital avatar is up there uh, on the screen, or I shouldn't say on the screen, inside of the metaverse, inside of a digital world in which you can enter into and interact with other people that are there, just like it was at a real concert venue. Um, and then also 
if you could take a trip or something like that, if you want to go visit any part of the world, again, you can enter into the metaverse and view it. It's from a different lens, from a different perspective. And another big way is artwork. So right now there's this big push for artists um, creating their digital art into NFTs and selling it using the NFT, um, which will be again, another podcast as well. But if you are a creator, you can actually go inside the metaverse um, have a whole museum worth of your stuff instead of just being in your bedroom now just wasting away you can actually throw it into the metaverse and anybody can come visit it anybody can join in on your own personal digital museum without you having to go and um, put it in an actual museum and in order for them to find your space it will be pretty much similar to how the internet works now so when you go to uh, the internet you go to Google you click on links these links will now become what we call portals. So these portals will be able to take you to a different environment, a different digital world that you will be able to experience. Again, as I mentioned, the metaverse, if you think of the metaverse as our actual universe, inside the universe, we have different planets. These planets will be the different environments of the metaverse, and you'll be able to access each one just through a digital portal. You'll jump from one portal into another one, enter into another space. If you you know, time to go play, you know, you go play and then you jump to another portal, time to go to work, all without leaving your home, all without just sitting on your couch inside your living room or something like that. Um, that's one big aspect of how the metaverse will work. And I feel like it will definitely be a game changer, especially when it comes to, you know, anything that happens with the pandemic. If we get shut down again, a lot of companies have to shut down. Well, if these companies are very aware of what's going on right now, uh, with the metaverse and all this digital space, they will try to get on this new trend. They will try to get inside of the metaverse uh, so that they don't have to shut down anymore. I feel like it would be real easy for a majority of the companies to do this. Businesses like restaurants, something like that, where you actually have to go to there and you know enjoy the food uh, may not be the case. But hey, I just learned that there is now a lickable TV. That's right, a television in which you can actually taste food from if you lick it. I myself probably would never be using something like that because I don't really agree uh, with licking the whole entire TV screen, but you never know. You never know what the technology may grow into. Um, there may be a case where, hey, you can get the sensation of food through the VR headset, through your you know nostrils or something like that. Um, there's a lot of different technology out there that's really coming into play and I feel like it's really going to be a game changer. Um, so again, the metaverse will definitely be a place in which we can learn in, get educated. We can have school sessions in there, courses, all that stuff. Once we're done doing that, we can go to work. We can work inside the metaverse, have meetings. I've seen a lot of different, um, it's mainly been construction companies, architectural companies, stuff like that using um, AR technology in order to see specs, in order to see blueprints and stuff. Um, and that's, again, that's just entering into the metaverse, you know, using some form of digital technology uh, to enhance, to really enhance what exactly that you are doing. Uh, from work, we go play, you know, we can meet up with family, meet up with friends, we can join in on many virtual sessions of gaming and stuff like that. Um, and then once we get done doing that, you know, we gotta do something for ourselves. We gotta create something. Uh, I myself being a CAD designer, I do 3D um, CAD design work, 3D art, stuff like that. Um, so I will be entering into the metaverse here very soon um, and doing you know, all of my creations inside there. Right now, uh, I sit in front of a computer screen and it's really hard on the eyes, really hard on the back and stuff like that. So if I could jump on um, or put on a VR headset, get into the metaverse, start creating right in there. I could be standing, I could be sitting, I could be laying down, I could be do, doing anything and still be, you know, doing what I love to do. Uh, and the last thing would be socializing. You know, like I said, you can go to these different venues, go to these different events, all inside the metaverse, um, concerts, conferences, trade shows, all that good stuff. Um, so let me know what you guys think. I'm really curious if there are any other, I mean, I'm sure there's a bunch, a bunch of different, you know, uh, aspects in which we can use the metaverse, but I wanna know what you guys think um, of how the metaverse could be used, what we could do with the metaverse, um, and how it will all work. In my opinion, again, 
the only way it's going to work if we all join in together um, and then connect with one another. That's all really I feel like the metaverse is about um, is connecting everyone and really enhancing our abilities to engage with one another, engage with this real world. And that's why AR to me is really going to be the biggest, biggest thing um, with the metaverse. So that's all for today. I will check back in with you all tomorrow and you never know, it might be inside the metaverse. All right, have a good one guys.